Welcome back guys. Uh, this tutorial will cover the final aspect of uh, adding the camera to the flyer. Without much ado, let's get started. Okay, so we need to import we need to import uh, the zero one timeline right into the zero two. So let's go to our project panel and import or drag the zero one comp right into our timeline. Okay, cool. But before we add our camera, let's do one more thing in the zero one comp. Let's hide or solo on let's on solo the Let's rather hide uh, the background. So in 01 comp, let's copy the background and transfer it to 02 comp. Let's drag it down. Now let's make it visible. Okay. So let's add our camera. New camera. We'll be using the 50M M camera and a two node camera. Okay, we get a caution over here. For the camera to work, you need to turn all the layers into 3D. So let's do that. Let's turn 0, 1 to at least there should be one layer that should be. Uh, tend to or change to a 3d layer okay okay let's move the timeline to start so with the exception of uh, layer uh, zero one the background which is the layer three it's it's not changed or it's we let we leave it as it is we only change the layer one uh, the zero one come to a 3d layer okay so having done that let's press a let's right let's uh, uh, unswirl it down let's swirl down the transform properties for the camera now we will key all the we will add all the keyframes let's keyframe all the elements here right out from point of interest to the Z. Okay, so now let's move 30 frames to the right, 30 frames to the right. So let's add 30 frames to the right. Okay, so at this point, let's zoom in. Let's zoom into what we're doing. The tool that we'll be using here is the camera tool. You can press C, the unified camera tool. Okay. So with the unified camera tool, mostly what we'll be engaging with will be our mouse. That's the three padded mouse. The one for the right, the middle section and the right click. So you should be using a mouse. Normally when you're using a laptop, it's a bit uh, tedious. I'm using the a desktop. In my case, so on your mouse, the, we have the with the standard mouse, you should have the left click, the middle button, and the right click. So I will just mention which one we are engaging with. So right now, we'll be using the orbit, the orbit camera too. So I'm right clicking, a left clicking rider. I'm left clicking right there. You see? Okay. So this is what we have. And also moving using the middle button on the mouse. Drag it by dragging it down a bit. Okay. Let's move three frames, uh, three keyframes forward. 
three thirty thirty key frames forward. I'm going to do that here in the timeline. Okay. At this time round, let me just increase the, uh, the size of our timeline here. I will copy all what we have in our previous keyframes and transfer it right to our timeline right here. Okay. So let's let's preview what we have now. Let's preview it what we have right now. Let's preview. Okay. Let's move four key frames forward again. One, two, three, four. Let's move 40, cre uh, 40 key frames forward. So at this point, where we have uh, the TV getting in, getting in into the canvas or uh, focus, getting into focus. We will we'll zoom in. Let's zoom in with our left. Let's zoom in with our left. Uh, click on our mouse. Let's zoom in. And drag it down. And drag it down a bit. Let's, okay. Let's see at this point. So let's extend here. Let's preview what we have done so far. Obviously, we will need to work on this side because if moved all elements far to the right side we need to adjust it a bit so make sure you're on this time uh, on the last keyframe with our middle click on our mouse let's move to the, to the left right okay now let's preview what we have done so far Let's preview it again. Okay. Now at this point, let's copy all the keyframes we had initially and transfer it here. Let's press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to paste it here. Okay. So at this point, let me extend here a bit. At this point, let's move our, let's zoom a bit here. Okay. Let's move our timeline forward. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's move uh, 50 frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. Let's use the orbit to the orbit camera. So by using the left click on our mouse, let me. Okay, let's use the the X Y track tool on our camera, or the middle click on our mouse. Let's drag it down a bit. Okay, now at this point, let's use the left click or orbit 
camera to let's zoom in okay let's move our timeline here let's move it further okay now let's copy the keyframes we had initially over here and transfer it where we have our our, our point here okay now let's keep moving let's keep moving it at this point we can Let's keep moving it to see what we have finally. And let's zoom in. Let me zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to move this down so we have more room for our animation. Okay. Let's preview what we've done so far. okay so so far i think i'm happy with what you've done so far let's see let's keep moving the timeline to see what we have finally okay very nice so so far so good we are done with our uh with, uh, with, we are done with animating our flyer by adding the camera effect to it thanks for joining us and uh don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and also hit the notification button to keep so that we the YouTube algorithm will keep you updated as and when we upload new videos. Bye.